What is up guys, Chu here, bringing you another Digimon Adventure video. It's been a good couple of weeks since I've made a video, and this was something that I postponed, and I wanted at least to have a little bit more visual, and now we got it. We have now two visuals that we can kind of look. Uh, this one came out a couple of days ago, uh, but it is news to me because I hadn't seen this uh, tweet or this information come out until today. And honestly, I'm very much surprised as to see that they're going to keep Agumon and Gabumon kind of consistent. Um, the designs for both Ty and Matt have really changed. Um, and I noticed that since the, like, the first images that we got uh, before these, uh, I honestly wasn't expecting this. Uh, they still look like teenagers, but they have been changed to 22 year olds now. Uh, hopefully this movie though, uh, this movie that they make, uh, I hope that we actually get them having some closure, some actual closure. Um, but looking at them closely now, uh, this is the image that was given out a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Matt honestly looks better than Ty. Uh, I don't even know what is on Ty's head. They don't really look like the goggles that he had, even in the movies. Like in the new, in the I guess the new animated movies. None of the six movies that we saw look like this. I don't know what that actually is, um, and I'm curious as to see how much longer you know are we going to have Ty wearing these goggles? I mean, he's he's already an adult. And when we saw him at the end of Digimon Adventure 2, he didn't have those anymore. Uh, even Davis didn't have it. So I'm wondering at what point does he let go of these goggles? I know it's his, his trademark look. It's the Digimon leader look that we've seen over and over again. But at what point do we stop seeing it, you know? But Matt's face, like I said, looks a lot like the, like the original. I want to say in the anime. Not in the movie so much because their eyes didn't have that much detail. But Ty, Ty is the one that kind of feels like an oddball to me. I'm not knocking it off quite yet. I will say that out of the two Digimon here, Gabumon and Agumon, I like Gabumon's look more. Um, he looks a lot, I don't know, softer, if that's even the right way to describe it. He looks kind of like more of a I don't know he just has a better color to him and I guess that's appealing Agumon looks the same you really can't mess up Agumon which is okay you know yeah I, I'm not a, gonna beat on it but let me know what you guys think I mean I really there's not much else I could say about it I'm okay with these images these visuals but I'd like to know what you guys think let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of these visuals you get excited are you guys not okay with it let me know as always stay safe and I will catch you later.